Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your motherfucking homeboy, d YG, the little big homie. And I'm the king of this channel, Dirty Creek Sports, man. Right now, we coming at you with the NCAA Basketball Selection Sunday show, dog. And it's NCAA Tournament time. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to sit here. Yeah, that paper. We're going to sit here and we're going to go through this motherfucker. Uh, Go through the Selection Sunday show. You know what I'm saying? But uh, while we go through the Selection Sunday show, man, I'm going to sit here, roll a blunt, talk to y'all and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because last joint I did, dog, it was like <laughs> no sound. I forgot to turn the sound on and shit. But uh, like I said, it's your boy D No YG, man. My team, DCU Rams, man. You we went 34 and no. 14, the number 14 team now. We won our conference uh, championship, our conference tournament. You know what I'm saying? We got a few seniors on our team. They got them a conference tournament, a conference champi- championship. The senior year, they worked hard. They tried hard. Now, let's see if we can go get that big ring for, uh, you know what I'm saying, for us and shit. You know what I'm saying? I know we can do it. Fuck, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. But overall, man, I know we can do it, homie. Like, straight up, bro. Got to keep the game banging in black or black balance. But straight up, though, let's get into this motherfucking show, dog. Uh, my bad. I ain't gonna have the music in the background and shit. You'll hear the, uh, C- the CBS music. So, here we go. Welcome to the NCAA Tournament Selection Show on CBS. Alongside Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Okay, so we here, Selection Sunday, NCAA Tournament time. The question is, nigga, can I get a motherfucking automatic bid? Oh, excuse me for cursing and shit, you know what I'm saying? But can I get an automatic bid, dawg? I didn't look at the tournament, the tournament bracket, the watch, and the tournament watch. I truly apologize for that. I'm supposed to get into the awards and shit, but, uh... This is what I'm gonna do. Right before the championship game, NCAA championship game, if I make it. But if I get put an eye, right? If I make it all the way to the NCAA uh, title game, right before the game, I'm gonna show the awards. But if I get put out, then I'll show the awards after I get put out. Fuck it. But we're looking to make a run. VCU 34 0. I know it's a lot of teams out there I haven't been checking, but uh, you gotta watch our ass out here because uh, we ain't played no, well, that's not true. We play Indiana, we play Iona, we play uh, 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 St. Joseph, um, who else? We play um, Pitt, you know what I'm saying? We play some very good teams and all all those, all them teams, we, uh, we put hooves on them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Not hoods, but hooves, you know what I'm saying? Feet, ram heads, nigga, straight up. But uh, let's get into it. As the selections are coming in, Bill, which schools are still on the bubble? All of these schools are on the bubble, Gus. They each had great seasons, but as we all know, the committee must get down to 64 schools in the playing game. It's not going to be easy. Okay, so they don't they don't show you who's in the playing game, but uh, I know we ain't in it. But uh, here are your teams on the bubble. You got Pittsburgh, 15 and 15. LSU 15 and 15, Houston 21 and 9, Siena 20 and 12, Old Dominion 26 and 6. Now I know why they're on the bubble because they just lost their conference championship game to us, so that's understandable. But with a 26 and 6 record, I don't think so. That's not understandable. Same thing for New Mexico State 24 and 7, Alabama 15 all, Dayton 15 all, Arizona State 16 and 15, Bradley. All right. 
for 21 to 9. Okay, let me say one thing about these teams. Sienna, LSU. No, Pittsburgh, LSU. Because we beat Pittsburgh early in the season. Pittsburgh, LSU, um, Alabama, Dayton, Arizona State. You're done. But I know one of those teams are going to sneak. And if you want any, and if you want to bet my money, it's either going to be Pittsburgh, LSU, or Arizona State. Why? Because they're in the bigger conference. No matter, they're in a, they're in a uh, big conference who always make the dance and shit. No matter if you're 15 and 15, 16 and 15. As long as you got some quality wins under your belt in your conference, man, they're going to put you. <laughs> they're going to put you in that tournament. Houston, Old Dominion, New Mexico State, and Bradley. I feel like those are the bubble teams, all of them, should sneak in. Bradley might not sneak in. Bradley and Sienna, I'm going to keep that shit real. Bradley, Sienna, you might not sneak in, dog, because I'm pretty sure a lot of those losses were uh, non-conference losses. And if you can't win, this is how the NCAA committee do that shit. If you can't win non-conference games, dog, why should we put you in a in a in a in a NCAA tournament against non-conference opponents, and you ain't gonna perform or show up, dog. Let me tell you, you may have a lot of this lot lot of conferences with like five or six teams in it, but let me tell you, they rarely meet up in the motherfucking in the in the, in the tournament unless it's either Sweet 16 or Elite 8. Because why? They spread it all around. So like I said, oh Houston, Sienna. Bradley, you might not sneak in. The bubble teams I'll give it to, I'll give it to Old Dominion and New Mexico State. But let's go. Here are the top seeds. These schools are the cream of the crop. I'd be very surprised if one of these teams doesn't make it into the NCAA final when it's all said and done. But do you see this bullshit? You see this bullshit? I want my conference tournament, right? But I don't get an automatic bid or a top seed, and I'm undefeated. All them teams, right, the only undefeated team up there is Kansas. All them other niggas, 29-3, 29-3, 30-2. I'm like, damn, dog, I went 34 and Oh, like, can I get some love, nigga? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Y'all see the top seeds, the top brackets. I didn't get a top seed. So I didn't get a number one seed. <laughs> that hurts. That really hurts, but I know I'll get a number two seed because I won my conference championship and I went undefeated. But the question is, which one of these brackets will they place me in? Now, from looking at these brackets, I would say the, the West and the Midwest, <laughs> it's going to be hard to come up out of. Why? Because you're going to have Villanova or Kansas to run through. Do. We beat them already this season. Um, Kentucky, we haven't played them, but uh, this is their top team. I remember when I played their ass. What's up with you? All right. I know when I played these fools, uh, I was what, even UCLA or Georgetown? Man, they gave me the business because this was the year when Kentucky had all them. They had length and size. They had nothing but tall, lanky guards and big, strong forwards and centers and shit. From the small forward to the power forward to the center. And the guards were tall as shit and everything. I'm like, God damn. But, uh, I'm rapping to y'all and forget to do what I was going to do. It drove my blunt up. But, uh, but, uh, like I was saying, you might. We might get a number two seed. Shit, nigga, I settle for a number three seed because I'm like, so we're gonna bring about seats trying to see where we fit in. Now, let's go to the uh, to the next portion of the show to see where everybody matches up. Now, let's show you the four regional brackets, starting with the West region. Gus, most people tend to focus at the at-large teams. The seeding of the teams is what takes the most amount of time. It's not easy to balance each of the regions. Okay, so let's rewind and, and bounce back for, uh, to a few minutes ago. You guys remember when 
I said uh, the Bible teams. Look at um five and twelve. Number twelve seed. Um, the team is in that bracket. We got Old Dominion. Oh, hold up. We got a number four seed. seed. Oh, if I get to that, my bad. But uh, let's see, they got a. Uh, my back is somebody in here on the phone. That's why I lowered my voice a little bit. But uh, as you see, I told you they was gonna sneak in and get that, sneak in and get a seed. They got the 12 seed. But like I said, bro, this was gonna be the hardest read. This is gonna be the hardest reason to come out of because for one, we're gonna have to go really low. So before we get into all that, let's go down. We got 16. Villanova and uh, Texas San Antonio, eight and nine. Uh, don't know who that is, but number nine is Auburn. Number five, we got number five and twelve. Don't know who that is, but they face an old man. Now here we are, number four seed. We got in. You know what I'm saying, but that's a very low seed. For a 34 and no team, but you gotta think about the conference we come from. Not not, not powerhouse. It's a non-power conference. Maybe mid-major. If that. 34 and no against you know what I'm saying UAB. Uh 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 Alabama Birmingham, 21 14, 6 and 11. Virginia and Washington State. 3 and 14. You got California and Arizona State. Uh, Wind it back again. I said Arizona State. One of those teams that get it. Oh no, nah, they ain't Arizona State because Arizona State is sixth. I'm sorry. You get me. Carolyn ASU. I don't know who that is. OSU. That might be Ohio State. San Diego State. 7 and 10. And 2 and 15. We got Texas and Portland now. So let's take it to the, to the uh, brackets for a minute. I'm sitting there saying that I noticed that the committee now I understand how the committee works and how the committee moves. The committee they set shit up. It ain't no no random draw, no shit. Like they really discuss to to give you what you came to see. And if you want to look from the one to the four seed where I'm at, we might meet Villanova in the Elite Eight or the Sweet 16. So that'll be around the 32. Yeah, we're going to meet Villanova in the Sweet 16 now. They set us up because why? They know that we probably can't beat for them though. Now let me tell you this. I got faith in us. I got all the faith and belief in us. Let me tell you. If we beat Villanova, Sweet 16, and I think that's gonna be the Sweet 16 matchup. BCU, Villanova, that's if Old Dominion, B, that might be Brown or Button. BU. You or I don't really see see the teams beating them up. Just keep it real with you. But uh, when we get to that Sweet 16 game, oh, best believe there's gonna be some noise made in that building. D Lil YG ain't going home. He's not gonna. He's not trying to go home that day. So like I said, man, if we make it to the Sweet 16, man, it's gonna be. My, my man got some. I called him. He fuck with you. What's up with you? But uh, Sweet 16 matchup. What's up? That's the matchup I'm looking. I'm looking forward to because why? <laughs> That's gonna that that game that Sweet 16 game. It's going to determine and dictate the 
type of team we are. But uh, let's go on. I took too long with this shit. The rest of these, blowouts. It's done. Here are the teams that fill out the Midwest region. Uh, this bracket looks to be very competitive. Whichever school makes it out of this bracket will be battle-tested to the NCAA Final Four. Okay, so you got one and 16. Kansas, one versus 16. One seed versus six. One seed Kansas versus 16 seed. I think that's Liberty. Eight seed versus the nine seed. You got Gonzaga versus Rhode Island. The 5 seed versus the 12 seed, Ohio versus uh, Hampton. It might be Hampton. 4 seed versus 13, Georgia Tech and Nevada. 6 seed and 11 seed, Louisiana and uh, uh, Louisville, excuse me, Louisville and Western Kentucky. Ooh, 3 seed and 14 seed, uh, North Carolina and Michigan State. 7 seed against the 10 seed. Syracuse and uh, Southern Illinois. Wow, they got in. Okay. And the number 2 seed against the uh, number 15 seed, West Virginia versus Binghamton. Binghamton. Now, in this bracket, I don't see no teams that were in the bubble that snuck in. But at the end of the show, they're going to show you what teams that were in the bubble that snuck in and didn't get in. But. All those bubble teams that didn't get in with a 20 plus win record, they can get to the NIT. Next bracket. Now let's take a look at the 16 teams in the East region. Uh, some of the most exciting games are in the 8 seed versus the 9 seed. It's usually between two evenly matched teams. I can't wait to see this region's 8 9 matchup. Okay. So, so we got one seed. 16, Purdue versus Cal, 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 uh, Cal State University. 8 and 9, BYU versus Kansas State. Uh, ooh, just like uh, UCLA, just like the UCLA dynasty. It's looking similar. But, uh, Number five and number two, number twelve seed. Illinois, South Carolina. Illinois got in with a very good, very good record. I'm saying very good record. Can't beat that with a motherfucker. Uh, 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 grandma's Kingdom. versus 13, Duke and Bayer. The 6th seed and 11th seed, North Carolina State and Marist. Number 3 seed and number 14 seed, Washington and I uh, don't know who that is. I need to learn these shits. I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to take a snapshot of these shits. These shits. Washington and in the last, I apologize. Only 16 teams left, and here they are, the South Region. A lot of good teams here, Gus. The greatest three weeks in sports, March Madness. The parity amongst the schools gets greater and greater each and every year. Uh, ooh, hold up. So, now we're down to the last bracket. And let's take a very, very close look at this, because it's almost time to end the show, and I ain't trying to hold you guys up any... Oh, shit. Hold up, one second. Uh, a 
city that's smaller than the motherfucking than, than the boots of footy. But anyway, if we take a very close look at this, at this bracket, we're we'll gonna take a very close look because it's the last bracket and we get to the end of the show, right? We want to see which is Kentucky sitting there waiting. Number eight seed, number nine seed, big rivalry, football, basketball, lacrosse, golf, baseball. No matter what sport it is in the conference, Florida State versus Florida. Number five seed, and number 12 seed, you got Michigan and Bama. Four seed, 13 seed, OSU and MSMU. Number six seed, and versus 11 seed, Minnesota and Akron. Three seed, and 14 seed, that might be Jacksonville. State or Jackson, number seven and ten, number seven seed versus the ten seed, Texas Tech and Big Fours, and number two seed versus the fifteen seed, Georgetown versus Hawk. Now, let's stay in this bracket for a minute. My honest opinion, I don't think Kentucky is going to make it out of this bracket, or even at least make it. <clears throat> To the, to the, to the N N N NCAA title game. Cause you wanna know why? <laughs> they ain't playing nobody. They ain't playing nobody in the tournament. Now come on, man. You got teams like, you're in a bracket, you're in the South region, which is always the weakest bracket of the, of the NCAA tournament. But always, <laughs> it's always the most heartbreaks in the South, in the South bracket. The, 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 the best team that you have in the South bracket right now. And I'm not even gonna say hard. Because why? The Ivy League. Come on. The Ivy League. Who the, who the hell do they really beat? Like, really? Be, be, be honest. They're a good team, but they're not the best team. The second best team, other than Kentucky, in this bracket, is Georgetown. Just wanna know why? Big conference. Big name, big school, big players. They go into the, they go in there ready, ready to play. So you're not up if you don't. If, so if Kentucky doesn't catch an upset from teams from the Michigans or the or the Tennessee, oh, can't forget Tennessee, 24 seven, number three seed from the Tennessees and the Georgetown, maybe. If Harvard don't get him, if Harvard don't make it through and don't get him, I'll say Michigan or Tennessee is gonna get him. That's it. But let me tell you, if they make it to the NCAA title game and they have to play VCU, oh, it's going down. You wanna know why VCU plays a style? VCU, we play a style of basketball where we can beat any and every team. We can stop defensively. Any every team. We can outrun, outshoot, out outpass offensively any team. VCU is a team that has so many fat VCU. We are a team that has so many bad facets of our game. You have to pick which one to stop. Because if you if you if you focus on all of them, you're just gonna get burnt out, tired out, and just trying to find find yourself with a headache and a hell of a way trying to stop these plays. Time to stop these guys. I'm telling you, young team, fresh legs, good mind. They got the skill set. Need to need to work harder together a little bit more. But uh, yeah, they might win this shit up. We might win this shit up. But uh, nah, you good? But let me get on to the next portion of the show because it's the end of the show. Well, Coach Raftery, there's a look at the tournament bids. I'm about to call him right now. My bad, bro. conferences are obviously well represented. However, there are still some mid-major schools worth watching, and I'm certain they'll compete. So like I said, big teams, big schools. ACC got eight. Big 10 got six. Big 12 got six. Big East got six. SEC, five. Uh, Conference USA, three. Pac-10, three. And Colonial, us, it's just two, us and Old Dominion, but all the, all the conferences, 26. So 
that lets you know, man. And it looks at this. It's gonna be either an SEC team or, or a Big East team that's gonna make it out and go to the championship game. I ain't got no ACC, Big Ten, or no Big 12, be no Big East, no SEC team. Plus, you got to run through, go through us anyway, so I ain't tripping. Well, Mr. Raftery, the speculation is over and the feud of 64 is set. How about summing things up for us? Based on all that has unfolded this evening, here are my predictions. Check out my sleepers and team to beat. It'll be interesting to see what will happen. Only time will tell, Gus. This season's tournament seating is official. That about does it for CBS coverage of the NCAA Tournament Selection Show. I hope you enjoyed the show over the Governor Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying so long. Alright, that's the end of that shit, but before I go, right, I told y'all, New Mexico State, they were gonna get fucked. They were on the bubble, they didn't get in. They were gonna get fucked, but they got into the NIT, I told you. Uh, New Mexico State, George Mason got in. They saying Kansas is the team to beat. One and done, Syracuse, Louisville, Oklahoma State. Possible sleepers, Marshall, Old Dominion. I say, I say it, Old Dominion. They're in the West, right along with us. Auburn, Rhode Island. And like they said, the toughest bracket is the West. Region. If we beat Villanova, we're going to see them in the Sweet 16 because I know we're going to trample through these motherfuckers. We're going to get all the way to the Sweet 16. And that's going to be that trap game, that cheat game. Every college team has one. Every NFL team has one. I don't give a fuck what you say. Every team in sports has a cheat game or a trap game. That's a game where... The sports committee set that shit up Knowing there's a possibility You can't or you might not win You know what I'm saying But that's what makes sports sports and shit And everything But uh, that's the end of this shit Man, I'm gonna holler at you fools Tomorrow With the NCAA tournament, man Peace, man